As a director, reading the book was really exciting because I kept imagining uh, the strong visuals, uh, the really amazing performances that I could get if I cast the right people. And, and I just loved the story. I thought the plot was amazing. But I was also drawn to the, um, the rich uh, imagery that was possible. You know, the contrast between the dry, dusty plains and the sumptuous, rich material and fabric. And, and, and the, just the comic concept of having these women strutting around in um, 1950s yeah. haute couture uh, in this dust bowl town. It was, it just hooked me straight away. Well, I would say uh, one of its, what, one of its different qualities would be that it has a, a, a kick-ass um, but incredibly elegant female protagonist. Uh, it's always fun to be able to do something that's a bit different. Normally that character would be played by a man. Uh, Clint Eastwood springs to mind <laughs> of the, uh, the mysterious stranger who comes back into town and um, is hell-bent on revenge for things that happened to him in the past. But here we have a, a woman who steps off the bus in, a, in these gorgeous high heels, dressed to the nines in a sort of Dior-esque uh, couture uh, dress and she's got a sewing machine so it, it immediately um, defies expectations and I, I love that. I love that the, the movie deliberately constantly uh, surprises the audience and, and really goes against their expectations. We, we were trying to think of a, a very strong visual uh, voice, if you can have a visual voice, but we wanted to ha really have a strong attitude uh, to tackle this story of the, the mysterious loner who comes into town on, on a mission of revenge. And of course, as soon as we realised that's what the story is about, we realised we should go kind of spaghetti western. <laughs> and, I, and, I sp and I definitely stress the spaghetti western because uh, the Sergio Leone movies that we watched together and, and thought about the imagery from, they weren't standard Western. We weren't going naturalistic. We knew we wanted it to, the movie to have a fable quality. And so we went to the idea of the European Western, which was in itself a little bit uh, self-conscious. So it's, it's not naturalistic, it's way more heightened. Because we had a very tight budget uh, and we had specific needs that we just didn't have the money to actually have like to build something we did actually use visual effects to either change the landscape in the background to make it match to the landscape we had created or to add silos uh, our fire we couldn't actually really burn our set down so we had gas bars, we had flame bars, uh, strategically placed um, real fire, but controlled. Yeah. Uh, and then we had um, visual effects, fill in the rest. So you may not think there's many visual effects in the dressmaker, but there was actually quite a few. The mice <laughs> that crawl over Liam Hemsworth, <laughs> there were a hundred real mice and the rest were digital because <laughs> I wanted like a thousand yeah. mice. 